Question 5. Here are the first five turns in an arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence says that it's going up by a set number each time. Part A finds an expression in terms of n for the nth term in this sequence. Three steps will help you find the nth term of any sequence. The first one is to look for the term to term rule. So in this case, what are we going up by each time? Well, that's going to be add 6, because we're adding 6 to get to 9. But double check that that works for each of the values. It should do. It should have the same difference because it is an arithmetic sequence. So therefore, we know that we have 6 is our term to term rule. From that, we multiply that by n because that's our position number. We're trying to find numbers that, are in this, that go up in sixes, and that would be our six times tables. Now at the moment, six times one, to give the first value, would give us six. So what we need to find is what's called the zero term. And that's a number that comes before the sequence. What happens when this is zero? So we count backwards in six. Three take away six would be negative three which means our nth term rule would be 6n take away 3. It should work for all of them, let's double check. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth number in the sequence would be 6 times 5, which is 30, take away 3, 27. It's always worth checking that your rule actually works. Ben says 150 is in this sequence. Is Ben right? You must explain your answer. Well, all the numbers appear to be in the 3 times table, and 150 is in the 3 times table, but that doesn't guarantee that it's definitely there. 15 is in our sequence, and 10 times 15 is 150. That's also another way of showing that it should be in the sequence. The, one of the best ways is to use your rule for nth term and see if there is a solution for n. So, if we substitute in this value and say 6n minus 3 is equal to 150. If we add 3, we would end up with 6n equals 153. So to find out what n is, we have to divide this value by 6. We have space to be able to do this, so I'm going to use a bus stop method to divide 153 by 6. 6 is into 1 is 0, carry the 1. 6 is into 15 is 2, carry 3. 6 is into 33 is 5 with 3 remainder. Therefore, because there is no value for n, the answer is no, it's not. So even though it looked like 150 should be in the sequence, use your nth term and solve this equation to find out if there is a position or n value that is a whole number. Without a whole number, we can show that it is not in the sequence.